I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, I will take two examples and we will find limits for trigonometric functions. First is to find limit as x approaches 0 for cos x minus 1 divided by x squared. And then we have limit x approaches 0 for 1 minus cos 2x times 3 plus cos x divided by x times tan 4x. Now, when you want to find limits for trigonometric functions, there are a few formulas which are important to remember. So, let me first derive them also. Uh, one of them is the double angle formula for cosine. As you know, cos A plus B could be written as cos A cos B minus sine A sine B, right? Now, if I write A equals to B, or b equals to a whatever let's say b equals to a then we have cos of 2a equals to cos a cos b which is a minus sine a sine a is it okay so we get cos of 2a as equals to cos square a minus sine square a now cos 2a can be written in terms of sine square. So if I replace cos square a as 1 minus sine square a, we already have minus sine square a here. I could write this as 1 minus 2 sine square a. And rearranging, I can write 2 sine square a equals to 1 minus cos 2a. So in a way, I have written uh, cos double angle as sine. So here you see some similarities, correct? So in this particular example, I could replace 1 minus cos 2a by 2 sine square a, correct? So that is what I'm going to do. Replace 1 minus cos 2a by 2 sine square a. Here we have cos x minus 1. So if I have to write it as cos x. So let's do half of this angle. So we get 2 sine square a by 2 as equals to 1 minus cos a. Does make sense to you, right? So that becomes another formula which could be utilized. So in limits, we extensively use these formulas. And as you know, limit of as x approaches 0 for sine x over x is 1. So that helps to solve most of the question. So that is the strategy, right? So let's begin with what is given to us. I could always write this as limit x approaches 0 cos x minus 1. This is 1 minus cos a, right? So it's negative, right? So here will be negative of 2 sine square x by 2 and we have x square here. Perfect. See, it is cos x minus 1, not 1 minus. So, if I do negative, then I get this. Now, we'll apply this limits. So, we say limit x approaches 0. We want x by 2, right? So, so to get that, look here. We have a minus. Let's keep minus here. And we have sine square x by 2. We have x square, but we need, uh, in this square, we need x by 2 whole square, which means 4 is involved, correct? So think like this. We have x square here. We multiply this by 4 over 4, right? So I'll keep that 2 here. I don't want to mix up many things. So we'll go in steps. So what we get here is limit x approaches 0. Now I could write this as sine x by 2. See how, how what am I doing? Over, over x by 2. Whole square. So when I square this term, then it becomes numerator becomes sine square x by 2, which I already have, but I don't have minus 2. So let me write minus 2 here. As far as the denominator is concerned, I get x squared by 4. That means x squared by this 4, but I don't have that 4. 
So I'll write that 4 here. Do you understand? So I get an expression like this. I hope this is absolutely clear. Perfect. Now that limit is 1. So we could write this as minus of half limit x approaches 0 for sine x by 2 over x by 2 whole square. Now this limit is 1. So what we get is minus half as our solution. So the limit of this function is minus half. Is that clear to you? So that is how you find the limit. And I hope this derivation is absolutely clear. Now we'll take up the solution of part B, right? Uh, knowing fully well that we are going to use this formula, which is 1 minus cos 2a equals to 2 sine square a, right? So here is the question. So we know 1 minus 2, I mean, <laughs> 1 minus cos 2a is equal to 2 sine square a, perfect. So that is the formula which we have derived. 2 times sine square a is 1 minus cos 2a. So we are going to use this formula and then solve the particular question, correct? So I hope now it is clear to you. You can actually pause the video and answer the question. Okay, so, so let's do this substitution right there and solve. So we have now limit x approaches 0. 1 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 sine square a. So we'll write this as 2 sine square a. And we have here 3 plus cos x. Now we need not worry about cos x because 0 of cos 0 is 1. So that's perfect. Okay. And the denominator, we have x times tan of 4x. Now that is also good for us since we know that limit x approaches 0 of tan theta over theta is, is 1. So theta is 4x for us. Does make sense to you, right? So that becomes equivalent expression. So now we have limit x approaches 0. Now, I mean, this is x for us. Let me write x. Right. We are working with variable x. So, so we need x square here so that this can be taken care of. And we need uh, 4, the number 4 there, right? So that is what we need. So let me first write down what we have. We have 2 sine square x times 3 plus cos x. And we have 1x here. And then we have tan 4x. What do we need? We need x square here. So let me multiply and divide by x. That will make this x square. Perfect. Now, for this 4x, we need 4x, right? We need 4x for 4x. So that means that we have to multiply and divide by 4x. So, so that means we have to, okay, so that means because we have to divide by 4x, right? So we have to divide both by 4x or you can say, uh, well, divide by 4x, let's say. And we'll divide this also by 4x. Does it make sense to you? Kind of like this. So we have done the same operation, but we'll rearrange these 4x's. Do you understand? And, and we'll bring this here. See what happens. So as we do so, we get limit. x approaches 0. So we have 2 times sine x. Now this x, and I'm taking care of that x. So it becomes x, this is square, this is x square. Perfect. Then we have the term tan 4x. Let me write down. Tan 4x. So this divide by 4x comes here. Tan 4x by 4x. Now we have here we have 3 plus cos x. Let me rewrite. 3 plus cos x. Then we have this x. I've taken care of that x. So 
this is kind of an extra for me extra for me divide by 4x divided by 4x does it make sense to you right so x divided by 4x I wrote here this x I combined with that and this 4x I brought it here perfect okay so let's continue with this so what we have here is limit x approaches 0 so as you can see here now I can cancel these extra x's 2 over 4 is half 2 over 4 is half so let me just write this as half then we have sine x over x whole square perfect then then we have this term which is also 1 so we have 3 plus cos x over tan 4x over 4x so we're taking care of all the terms now as you know limit of this sine x over x is 1 limit of tan 4x over 4x is also 1 correct so we're left with half and limit of this so we are left with half and limit of x approaches 0 for 3 plus cos x does make sense to you so this limit is equal to 1 this limit also is equals to 1 right so we are left with half times 3 plus cos x correct now we can write this as half substituting 0 here we get 3 plus cos 0 which is 1 so half of 3 plus 1 which is 4 which is half of 4 so which is 2 so the limit of this function is 2 correct so that is how you could solve it so when you have trigonometric functions you may have to multiply divide by few terms and rearrange correct that is how it is to be done so I hope uh, steps are clear to you. Feel free to suggest and uh, you can always like and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.